my friends here is card project number two from my under my umbrella stamp and blends technique class and for this card I'm going to demonstrate a super fun technique using our stamp and blends and a window sheet and as you can see here silver glimmer paper so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, add some color to the background of the Whisper White cardstock. So I'm bringing in the Painted Harvest stamp set because I want to use this image here and that's going to be for the sun. And I'm bringing in my So Saffron ink pad, inking that up, stamping it down. Now I have a piece of scrap paper, this is computer paper, and I punched out a circle using the one inch circle punch. So I'm just going to put that right over top where I have stamped and take a Stampin' sponge and I'm going to sponge right around and this is going to make the ring of the sun and I love how this looks. So cool. Now I'm bringing in my seaside spray and another sponge and I'm going to sponge around the sun and cover the card except for about a, an inch down below which will be for the grass. Now I'm pulling in the stamp set from under my umbrella and I'm going to stamp the raindrops in the uh, seaside spray and just like in my first card which is a separate video I am going to stamp on a diagonal rather than straight down and that's why I have the sun on one side and the, the raindrops on the opposite side because I'm going to use the stamp set rain or shine are always on my mind so this is a fun way of incorporating rain and sun for this card I actually think that's good bringing in my old olive now I'm going to sponge along the bottom for the grass Now it's time to add the sentiment and I'm going to stamp it with my black memento ink pad. I'm going to stamp it right in the center. Just like that. This goes on the Knight of Navy card layer. So it gets put on there. And then the card base is Whisper White. Okay, so there's the card base done. And I'm going to put this aside and move on to the Stampin' Blends Glimmer Technique. Oh my goodness, you guys, you're going to love this. This is a real wow. So I have my window sheet, and I know it's hard to see. There you go. Now you can see it. And uh, I'm going to be stamping the boots and the umbrella. Now, two things. Because these are photopolymer stamps, you want to use Memento with photopolymer. It stays on and photopolymer don't get along too well. But because I'm using window sheets, I need to use stays on so that it dries quick on this. So the trick with that is to um, make sure your stays on is wet. So you may want to add some stays on ink refill and make sure your ink pad's nice and wet. And I'm inking up my stamp really, really well. And I'm just going to stamp that down. Okay, so there it is on the window sheet. Now I'm doing the same thing with the boots. And I'm actually going to pull in this umbrella because I'm going to show you two fun ways of coloring with your Stampin' Blends with this technique. So I'm going to just stamp this just like that, I think, right there. Okay, now because I have stays on on these stamps, I'm going to take my stays on cleaner and dab it on every one, wipe it off, and then I'm going to mist with water to make sure I've got any residue of that Saison cleaner off my stamps. I'm just misting with water and drying them. You really want to make sure that your stamps are cleaned right after you use 
uh, stays on on photopolymer. So if you don't have stays on cleaner, I highly recommend it. It lasts a long time. This is mine. I still have lots in it and it's super old as you might be able to tell from the old label and it looks pretty beat up. But uh, it has lasted a very long time so I really recommend uh, getting some of that stays on cleaner. And if you live in Canada, everything I'm demonstrating is available through my online store. So all the links for the projects in this class and um, everything that I share on my YouTube channel is listed either in the video description or on my blog. All right, let's get this out of the way. So now it's time to color. Now it stays on generally dries pretty fast, but if you move your window sheet and sees, see that it still looks a little bit wet, you want to give it a light zap of the heat tool and I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to flip this over and bring in my stamp and blends. So I am going to start with the dark rich razzleberry first and color in my boots. Now when you use stamp and blends on window sheets, they re the ink really moves around. So you're just going to want to play with it and pull in my light rich razzleberry and this alcohol ink works really well on the window sheets, but you do kind of want to add layers. Let it dry in between, then go back and add, uh, just add more ink to get it darker until you've got the look that you're going for. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and I'm going to bring in my Bermuda Bay and I'm going to add some color to this umbrella over here. And bring in my light rich razzleberry. Okay, and that's good. Add another layer of my dark. I want to add a design to the boots and the umbrella with my dark Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to use the fine tip now and I'm just going to draw little circles and make a polka dot pattern on the boots. And where you place this Bermuda Bay, it moves the rich razzleberry underneath it. Okay, and I think I'm going to put some dark Bermuda Bay on the bottoms and tops of the boots. This technique is going to blow your mind. It is so cool. There we go. Now with the umbrella, I'm going to use the dark Rich Razzleberry and do the same thing, adding some dots and make a polka dot. You want to use darker colors on this uh, window sheet with this particular technique. You really want those colors to pop through. I'm going to come back to that one in a bit. So I'm actually going to cut that off. And I will show you another fun way to use this technique as soon as we finish this card. You want to make sure that this is dry before you cut them out, and it is. It dries pretty quick. So the next thing I want to do is cut out my umbrella. So I'm just going to slide it into my punch. And use a little bit of muscle because we're using window sheets to cut that out. There we go. And I'm going to trim this just a bit. Okay, let's start with this one. Now you will feel the smooth side and the rough side. The rough side is the back. That's where we added the ink. So on the rough side, you want to add um, glue dots and you're not going to see the glue dots coming through when this is finished. So I'm going to put three glue dots on here. Now I have my silver glimmer paper. This one's already punched out. 
And all I'm going to do is line it up right behind the piece that I just colored. And the glue dots completely disappear and you get that beautiful glimmer coming through and you can really see those colors and that pattern. Isn't that neat? So cool! So for the boots, I'm going to go ahead and stick some glue dots behind the boots and then I'm going to put it on my silver glimmer paper and then I'm going to cut them both out at the same time. This is one of my favorite stamp and blend techniques, but that could be because I love my glitter. <laughs> but the uh, the end result of combining the window sheets with the blends and glimmer paper is just phenomenal. Imagine this at Christmas time. Uh, imagine it using with flowers. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Doesn't get much cuter and wow just so so neat okay let's finish the card one thing I forgot is I also want to stamp the handle for the umbrella so I'm just going to slide this in and punch out an umbrella and I'm going to take my dark rich razzleberry marker and I'm going to color my glimmer paper so the things that you can do with our stamp and blend alcohol markers is pretty phenomenal. So you can change your glimmer paper to any color you want. I have a beautiful rich razzleberry glimmer paper there. So I'm going to put the umbrella on first with a couple stamp and dimensionals. And I'm just going to position that like so. And then dimensional behind the boots. And put the boots right there. Then I'm going to take the handle of the umbrella. I'm just going to put a little snail behind it. You could use glue or anything you like and then that just gets tucked right beneath it like so and there's the finished card how cool is that oh my gosh what a fun technique so easy and of course you don't have to add polka dots if you don't want you could just keep it solid you could draw lines if you wanted to so that brings me to why I stamped that other umbrella. Let me show you another fun way you can use this technique. So, again, feeling kind of on the rough side there. I'm gonna take my dark Bermuda Bay again. And, whoops. Oh, see, now that moved my ink. I'm working on the wrong side. So that's why you wanna make sure you're coloring on the opposite side. So this is the side I want to color on. And then I'm going to bring in some Daffodil Delight and I'm going to use all the dark blends for this. And I'm just going straight across in lines, bringing in my pumpkin pie. And I will go back over these again as that ink dries just to get a nice dark, dark image. Cherry Cobbler, and my Rich Razzleberry, and my Old Olive. And I'm just going to kind of go around and when you're using the inks you can actually go over and move the ink that you used prior to it. So I made that Rich Razzleberry a little bit too uh, wide so I can just move it with my Old Olive. So now I'm just going to go over top where I laid those colors down now that they've dried and make them darker. I'm going to put some dark Knight of Navy right at the tip of the umbrella. Now I'm going to cut this out with my punch. This 
is such magic. Okay, that's the back side. And put on my glue dots. Do you see what happens when I put the silver glimmer behind this? Look at that. For a rainbow umbrella. They could also be butterfly wings. You could do two of these and make a butterfly and use the center of the uh, umbrella for the, the body and the little antennas. So gorgeous. So here's another card that I made doing the same thing. Now this one's really, really bright, but that's because I went over a couple more times with my blends until I got it really dark. I mean, look, look how much more that orange even stands out. You can just faintly see the orange there, but I just went over top and over top until I got them really nice and dark. So that is the Stampin' Blends Glimmer Technique, and I just think it's, it's just amazing. I think it's so gorgeous and so much fun. Let me bring in my original card. So there is card number two from my class and I'm going to start working on project number three and there will be another video for that and I hope you have fun putting this card together. Happy stamping!